learners, welcome to my virtual English classroom. Our lesson for today is about images, ideas used to influence viewers, stereotype. And these are the objectives. Are you excited to learn today? I know you are. Come on, let's learn together. What do you see in the pictures? Correct, you see pictures of a woman and a man. How do gender race, culture, and age play a great role to influence others' thought? Well, you are correct. These are some of the factors that influence stereotyping people. What is stereotype? Stereotypes are results of incomplete or distorted information accepted as fact without question. It is simply a wide-held belief that an individual is a member of a certain group based on characteristics. Stereotype is a mistaken idea or belief many people have about a thing or group that is based upon how they look on the outside which may be untrue or only partly true. It is one way to influence others, whether we agree with them or not, we are aware of both positive and negative stereotypes about various groups of people. In this case, it should be your sole responsibility to filter the things which you should believe and what you should not. Stereotyping people is a type of prejudice because what is on the outside is a small part of who a person is. Examples of stereotypes are the following. Women are known to be submissive. They are supposed to cook and do housework. They are usually the one who goes to the market. They provide the needs of the family. And they budget the money of the family. Whereas men, they do work such as construction and mechanics. It is always them who work in science, engineering, and other technical fields. They are dominant. They are good in decision making and they provide the needs of the family. Now that you have learned what a stereotype is, let me test your understanding. Identify the letter of the correct stereotyping in each situation. 1. The people of Manda always work together to help one another to earn a living. A. The people of Manda are thrifty. B. The people of Manda are cheerful. C. The people of Manda are resourceful. B. The people of Manda are industrious. Correct! Your answer is D. The people of Manda are industrious. Number 2. Mary often greets her visitor with smile. She would also prepare food for them. A. Mary is kind. B. Mary is hospitable. C. Mary wants visitors and D. Mary feels happy with visitors Correct! B is the answer. Mary is hospitable Number 3 Muslims pray 5 times every day but the most important prayer of the week is called Juma or the day of gathering on Friday. A. Muslims are faithful. B. Muslims are hardworking. C. Muslims value their beliefs. D. Muslims respect their tradition. What would be your answer? Okay, that's great. It's letter A. Muslims are faithful.
Number 4. Lisa is an iPhone user. She would always get the newest release of the Apple Store. A. Lisa is rich. B. Lisa is techy. C. Lisa loves new cell phones. And D. Lisa likes expensive things. What would be your answer? Correct! It's letter A. Lisa is rich. Number 5. Gina is a left-handed girl. She always joins drawing and painting contests. A. Left-handed people write legibly. B. Left-handed people are good at arts. C. Left-handed people are goal-oriented. And D. Left-handed people love joining contests. What would be your answer? Correct! Letter B. Left-handed people are good at arts. Okay, it's great. You did a good job. You are all correct. Thank you, my dear learners, for listening. See you around.